Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the CWR Clash with Randall's Pod Class with your host, the JKD, with my co host, the DOC, the LOVE. And we're here to give you more wrestling news, uh, results, everything in between. Mm. Now, subscribe, mm. hit that notification bell for an alert, mm. and give us a like, give us a like, give us a like, mm. and leave your questions. Hmm. Now, today we're really going to focus on today's episode of NXT and the aftermath of that TakeOver 30. It's just a little wrestling news, just hmm. to uh, wet, your, uh, wet your tongue. A little theories, yeah. A little theories yeah. going on. You know? theories and stuff. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started with NXT. You know, uh, TakeOver Fallout, obviously. You know, TakeOver was a really good show. Now, we come to the beginning of the show where we see NXT champion Karrion Cross coming out. You know, this nice black suit on with Scarlet Boudreau and also with a sling. And for those who don't know, who did not even know, uh, Karrion Cross received an injury with a uh, separated shoulder from a cold line from Keith Lee, which uh, resulted him to uh, pretty much relinquish the NEC championship. Now, it's pretty, it's, it's really heartbreaking to see a superstar like relinquish the title due to injury. Right. You know, whether like they held the title off like Days like like someone like Samantha Chamber, he held it for so long, and all of a sudden like he got sidelined with injury where he had to relinquish. But it's even more heartbreaking to see a person who just won the title and then just had to relinquish it just like that. Yeah, I remember um when Finn Balor did the same thing with the Universal title, and I'm not even a big Finn Balor fan, and I was like, and then, dang man. Well, well, uh, coincidentally with the same injury at that fact, you know. Right, right. So I mean, and look. I know I've been judging Karen Cross way too hard about his push and stuff like that, but man, like, you know, my thoughts go for like uh Karen Cross for a speedy recovery, you know. You know, I I did like him as an NXT chat. I like him, but you know, I just didn't like his push and you know, seeing him like give up the inner kind of I mean not give up, but you know, relinquish the title, you know, that's yeah it's kinda of heartbreaking. But now let's go on and continue to talk about the NXT champions. We'll talk about next week. You know, NXT Super Show, they got you know, Mr. Regal, Triple H, uh, Shawn Michaels, and even uh, Matt Bloom decided to come to the decision that uh, for the NXT Championship will be resulted in a fatal four-way match to one of the greatest NXT champions of all times. Yeah, yeah. all four of the greats. I mean, so that is something else. You got two Triple Crown champions, man. I mean, a couple of NXT champions. I mean, you got Johnny Gargano. You got oh, Finn yeah. Balor. Yep. Adam Cole. Yep. And none other than Tommaso Ciampa, man. Yep, this match is so good. It's making me do the yells. I know, man. I tell you. I am so lit, but we'll talk about that later, though. But but before we even, uh, before we move on, how how you feeling about that announcement, though? Wow. I, I mean, that is, uh, you know, excuse me for, I, I'm not going to use, but that's a H-E, uh, H-E, hockey stick, hockey stick of a match. Uh-huh. I mean, that is something else. Let alone 60 minutes. I am now you've been talking nah, about you've been, I ain't you've been stressing that. you've been stressing out about a sixty man like a real Iron Man match. Yeah. You've been stressing out about a sixty man Iron Man match. That's back in the attitude era days, man. That's back yeah, in like, about in the eighties. Yeah, yeah, before that, even before then. Like you've been stressing this out for a long time yeah. in Iron Man matches. And now you got what you wanted. Let alone wow. a fight a four way match, let alone. So and it kinda questioned me about NXT, like is it gonna be like a three hour show or or they gonna make two hours, but We'll see when that comes to be. Hey, real quickly, so for all y'all young viewers, I mean young listeners, guess what was kind of like one of the longest matches of all time? A one, uh, two hour matchup? It was almost, it's like an hour, uh, hour 30 minutes, Barry Wendell and Ric Flair. Hey. So. <laughs> hey, well, let's go ahead and move on to the first matchup of NXT as we have the NXT tag team titles put on the line as Imperium, Marcel Bartel, and Fabian Eichner. Defending tag titles against Fandango and Tyler Breeze, known as Brazongo, which was obviously a solid, good matchup between the two, you know. Yeah. You've been talking about the fact that you hated how Imperium, like, you don't like it, it's just yeah. that you just didn't like the title reign, you know. Yeah, they, they didn't do nothing much for the titles. Uh, I was really pulling for them to be champions, and once they got the titles, uh, they didn't need to be champions. I mean, like, you know, don't, I mean, Marcel Bartel and Fabian Knight, they're really, really pure, uh, good pure athletes, you know. But, you know, their last match with Brazongo actually got me. Right. You know, they need more character development. 
Gill, and you know, uh, seeing Brazongo now winning the tag team title, like, like they're gonna be the tag team who's actually gonna put these tag team titles back on the map, you know? Right, right. It's not gonna be as bland and boring. I think they're gonna put up a good fight against quite a few wrestlers. Yeah, and it's also pretty interesting, uh, interesting to see that uh, both Fandango and Tyler Breeze win the first ever champions in WWE. Man, I'm so glad to see that because they they both deserve it. I mean, they have been they've been part of NXT for so long. Let alone, well, they've been part of WWE for so long. Like now, 2020, they win the tag team champ champions pretty much. So congratulations off to them. Oh man, but I believe if they had had the North American title. Back when Tyler Breeze was in NXT the first I said time, that, I think I, he would have got it. I said the same thing. I said, man, if the North American champion existed when Tyler Breeze was there, Tyler Breeze would have been the first champ. Yeah, he, he would have got that. I said the exact same thing, bro. But either way, man, well, how do you? So, what do you think? Oh, uh, the future for the tag team champion is gonna go now. Hey, who, who do you think is gonna go to? It's gonna be a rematch between Brazongo. Eventually, um, I think they're gonna wrestle the uh, undisputed era. Mm. But I think they're eventually going to lose it to uh, Legado uh, De <laughs> Del, Del Fantasma. Fantasma. Yeah. I try to say it too fast sometimes. Legado Del Fantasma. Man, but, <laughs> I mean, hey. Either way, we're going to talk about Legado Del Fantasma later on as we talk about the man. returning to Maso Chamba. Man, I like that mask he had on. But he really stole that from New Japan. Man. He wore he wore his takeover, man. I like that, man. You he, know, and Gruber Nala's uh Deja Paul. Deja Paul. They Japan, they'd be wearing a mask like that. But yeah, man. The returning Tommaso Ciampa, you know, known as a sadistic SOB at one point, you know, when he was NEC champion. Yeah. Taking on uh your your guy, favorite cruiserweight, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, uh Jake Atlas. Uh obviously, man, when when I saw the match, I was like, man, this man for the right dog, Jake Atlas. Like, why they got this man? Because, like, when Jake Atlas came out, I was like, wait, I thought they said Tommaso Ciampa next. Like, I thought Ciampa was going to pull out a promo or something like that. But said, hey, they, they, man, came in, wrestling guitar on, got the mask on, got the jacket, man, looking like a certified bad day, man. I'm just saying. Like, he just came in. All of a sudden, bell rings. Then all of a sudden, they, they chill in the corner. Then all of a sudden, man, like, hey, Ciampa just bullying that man he in the just corner. Straight, uh, man, he just straight, man. Yeah, he just bullied that Bulldog, man. Bulldog that man. Head but the mess up that man. Man, came out of nowhere, man. Hit the what do you call it? The uh, the DDT, we call the widows, the widows, the widow something. I, I, always I mean, forget. I know he named it after his daughter, though, but man, like, came in with an easy win. All of a sudden, all the widows' bells draping DDT, yeah, that's it. I remember that, yeah. And all of a sudden, came in with it again when he was on uh, well, first actually, did a decapitator under the ring. And I know that's got killed, but all of a sudden, you know, on the uh, the stretcher, man, all of a sudden, hit the widow's bell again. Chompa is going off, man. And yeah. that's why he that's why he's a good certified candidate to become the next NXT champion. Definitely. Cause he could join the likes of Shinsuke and Samoa Joe. Maybe. But we don't know though. But wait a minute. Uh, which finisher mode Champa has you think is better? Cause I like Project Champa pretty good. I don't know. I like the fairytale ending though, man. Like Oh, fairytale ending is good. I mean, just think about it, man. If this was I mean, think about the fairytale ending if it would have been like not PG. That dude would have been on you would have been on your head. I'll tell you that for a fact. Exactly. But man, let's talk about the first ever women's matchup for the night. You know, you got uh-huh. your girl, Mia Yim, taking <laughs> I cannot believe I, did, I was so confused what was going on that moment because as soon as Robert Stone came out, I'm like, okay, like, is it gonna be Mercedes Martinez? And also he said Mercedes Martinez is not gonna come out. All of a sudden this man got ran the freak over with a tank again by a third time by a Shotzi Blackheart. They need to stop that cuz. It's not funny anymore. It the first was... time it was real funny. The second time it was kind of funny. It was funny the this third time. time. It's not that funny. No so why are you laughing then? <laughs> because you laugh. You're making me laugh. I mean, because it's funny because he just, this time it wasn't just a leg. Like he ran, like she ran all over him, like all the way up to the back, man. Like it just, it was just funny. Then all of a sudden, now we're going to this matchup. You know, all of a sudden, black, I didn't even look at this matchup oh, that well. Can I say Aaliyah is getting better as a, as a character? Uh, she tried so hey she's she's doing her best though man right you know but i didn't like this match oh well, don't get me wrong it was a good match though i didn't okay. i i didn't look at the match too well i kind of like looked down glanced down a little bit and also looked up and i see like shots of black heart getting getting most of the offense and all of a sudden i see her like get the win over me and him i mean me it's kind of tough for me you know not uh, let alone like you know keith lee's not moving the raw 
now she don't have to focus all on Keith Lee. Now she's focused right. on her career right. for NXT, you know. You know, when you see me, you know, I'm thinking, well, when I first saw me, especially when she was in the main young class, I'm thinking, like, you know, at some point her time's going to come. I feel like she's not going to guarantee to get it, like, people like Baszler and Kyrie and so like that. But she, she's going to make it. Right. You know, she's going to get it. Just like how I felt about Candace Ray. Like, she won't get it automatically. She was going to get it at some point, really. She's going to get it eventually. If, exactly. Like, maybe, like, but next year or two. It, 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 it just bothered me that shots at Blackheart beat her. But they, they might that's, be that's trying a, to tell you. I'm telling you, they're pushing. They're pushing that black card, I, I don't like shots at black heart. Why, you got I like like the better on the indie circuit. I like the one she was in Impact, too. I mean, I like the one she was in She involved. was okay on Impact, too. Don't get me wrong. But she won with the, what, two centons? Yeah, hey, that's yeah. a good That's a... I ain't Centon like, to the back and sent on to the midsection. Yeah, that that hey, but that got the one two three though, man. So like I said, it was a believable win. Now, don't get me wrong, and it was a pretty good match. Yeah, exactly, man. But let, but let's go ahead and move on. Well, actually, before we even move on, like we we, what do you think it's gonna be next for me and you? Like, what do you think? Like, what, should I, be, what um, like what do you think it should be next for me and you? You know, like you think there's should... been rumors out there about me and you. I don't know. I don't know. It might have something to do with the main roster. I don't know. You're all on there, aren't you? But let's go ahead and move on to the Cruiserweight division side of the things, man. Talk about your boy Isaiah Swerve Scott. Taking on your, also your boy, you know, Legado Del Fantasma. Yeah, I got that right that yes. time. <laughs> Leader, Cruiserweight champ, Santos, Santos Escobar, Escobar, man. Now, that was a pretty good matchup, man. man. Very, very good. Man, you know, uh, at one, at one, great ring psychology, Matt Rasslin, exactly. Uh, uh, little brawling and you know, a little bit, yeah, high flying. Yeah, a little bit of me thought like Swerve was gonna win, but I like, well, like from the beginning, maybe like the first two minutes of the match, and all of a sudden, like, I know they're not gonna win, cause you know they still cause Legato Del Fantasma still got a thing for Brazongo, so that's probably gonna be next for Brazongo for one thing. But I know, like, this obviously the rival between Swerve and Santos, man, this this can continue going on because like you know the biggest story at the end of the match you know hit the Rubik's Cube and all of a sudden uh kick out yeah too close to the ring ropes yeah I mean obviously Raw Mendoza and then uh, Joaquin Wild came out you know they had to get kicked out by the referee once again <laughs> like you know Santo you know Escobar said he he do it on his own but well technically he did it on his own <laughs> with the distraction <laughs> of the fact that the mask came yeah, but yeah, with the mask obviously that Escobar hey, had, he went old school. He went back to Mr. Rassel number three or uh, that jump was one of them. that mask was red, man. Obviously, I saw that. Hey. Obviously, like the dude was like, like, hey, I was glad to see that man because I ain't seen that in Rassel since the nineteen eighties, man. That man, was like way back. He man, he grabbed Swar by the head, head about the mess out of him, which led to a one, two, three, still your NXT Cruiserweight champion. He just got a harder head, man. He just got a hard head. That's you, all. He ain't don't cheap. don't do that stuff. Don't man, don't don't try to be like these bad guy commentators. Support the bad guy. Don't try to be like that. <laughs> try to be that guy, man. But now, obviously, with Swerve, Brazongo, and then having Legado Death Fantastic, this all leads up to next week on uh, NXT Super Show, man. It all leads up to a six man street fight, man. So I'm looking forward to see how that'll go down. Who you got? Or oh, you gonna say that to the end of the now, show? You know. I'm gonna go ahead and predict it right now. I mean, I'm going for it, man. I mean, I feel like it's about time Brazongo and Swerve go ahead and get over, you know. No, I believe, especially WWE likes um that fifty fifty booking. Yeah. So I'm sure they're gonna let uh Swerve and uh Brazongo get it. So yeah, uh you know, we got to hear from, you know, Gargano, Finn Balor on their take of the matchup, you know. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, now we got the uh, still to come. We got the Drake Maverick and Kyle O'Reilly matchup going on, which I mean, I see they're doing a little bit of something with uh, Drake Maverick. Yeah, so, a <laughs> If you want to say that something, yeah, pretty much. But all of a sudden, Kyle O'Reilly got the win over with a heel hook, just like that simple. And all of a sudden, Undisputed Era remains to beat them down, which pretty much, I guess, that made Undisputed Era going back to heels again. You know, and all of a sudden, now we got. Big Damo, Killian Dane, come out, come to Mavericks A until all of a sudden Maverick looked like he was about to go for a hug or a handshake or something. Then all of a sudden, handshake, yeah, thank yeah. him for helping him. And then she got clobbered down, back down. So I'm uh, looking forward to see how that's going to work. 
I, I thought like they were gonna do something with Maverick or Dane together, but apparently Actually that might have been a good team up. Well, a small man, big man tag team match. I mean right. it's been a while since we have seen that type of tag yeah. team matchup, so yeah. Uh that's, I don't know. I don't know how I don't, I don't know how that's I mean I don't know. It's just, been a while. I, I mean I thought they were gonna do that, just do that. Yeah, because sometimes they do things without any kind of reason, so yeah, you know how it is with that. To be honest, at one point, I thought Killian Dale was going to join the Robert Stone brand, but for that one situation, but hey, mm-hmm. we don't know. But before we get to our main event, you know, we got to talk about uh, your two boys, you know, NEC North American champion, uh, Damian Priest, and Timothy Thatcher. Oh. Now, obviously, Damian Priest, was about to address about the NEC North American champion with Tim Thatcher saying it's embarrassing the fact how well he's been treating the champion, you know. What he's been doing with the champion, he's only held the champion for a couple of days. Right. He uh that didn't make any sense to say, but um Thatcher's gonna lose that match too. Right now, they see Thatcher as somebody who can get beat right now and it won't hurt him. But after he loses this feud here, he can't lose no more feuds. Cause you're gonna end up like Bray Wyatt. You know, there's only so many times that you can go out there and say, I'm gonna whoop somebody's tail and then don't do it. You know, that reminds me of like uh Devil Team Dream. You know, he was that good, you know, he was that good and he pulled out the good matches and stuff like that. Sometimes like he might pull out the uh most offense, you know, all of a sudden he just come up short. Right. Some of the right. drivers in uh, matches, so you know, the only rivalry we know about Timothy Thatcher winning was only Matt Riddle. Yeah. You know? And that's because he was going to the main roster. Well, you know, uh, now, you know, there's his rivalry, this small rivalry with Balor. You know, he lost. And all of a sudden, now he's going for the NXT North American Champion. Really, I I didn't, I really don't see. Really, I, I, I would more agree with, you know, Bronson Reed. And speaking of Bronson Reed, we know that Bronson Reed also ironed himself for North American Champion until – a returning superstar comes in and think he knows song until he got slapped in the face by oh, yeah, I big see. man, big man, Bronson Reed, you know, and I'm talking about Austin Theory. No, I thought he was gone. Cause I heard folks were saying he was gone because of the speak out movement, but he's back on TV. I mean, you see dream. So, I mean, uh, now you got Austin Theory, you know, back on NXT now, you know, then again, they weren't going on with him on raw anyway. I didn't see why they even brought him. They- they weren't. Uh, I didn't even see him. Reason why he was on the team was Seth Rollins. I didn't see no join. I don't see why he joined the Zelina Vegas crew for one thing. I mean, that you, didn't make sense either. I told you you should have had Herberto Carrillo. T-O-A. Exactly. That's who should have been on the team. Now they should have been. They would have been like uh, uh, Legato uh, Del Fantasma. See, and then where's Herberto Carrillo right now? Doing nothing. Exactly. They might well put him back on 205 Live, so we won't have to – well, we don't see him. Why do you, so. even, why do you even move him for 205 Live? Why do you move him for NXT that quick anyway? Like, he had one match on NXT that he's already on 205 well, Live you, against. You know what they say, you know, Vince liked his new toys, and he got a, a new toy, and he, he liked them at first, and yeah. then all of a sudden he was like, you I don't him. like him. You ruined him with AJ Styles and Andrade, actually. Right. I actually believe him, brother Carisha, been the next U.S. champion, actually, but – I wouldn't go that far. I would say that. But I wouldn't mind him teaming up with his cousin. Exactly. Angel Garza. Why would you not want to do Like, either way, we just went all way off top. But either way, you know, Austin, really, I don't even see why Austin there to move away from any. Like, he only had, like, a couple matches in the NXT, and all of a sudden, he lost a champion. And then all of a sudden, like, he's moving to Raw. It's like that WrestleMania. Like, Vince McMahon, like his new toys. When he hear about somebody and he look at him, like, oh, yeah, I like him. And move them to the main roster without, with, without a plan. And then when they get on the main roster, it's like, oh, I don't like them. It's like, okay. Now, Theory, I didn't have an issue. I did like the way how you joined Rollins' crew. Like, Rollins just, like, found him and just trying to bring him back up. <laughs> but he wasn't, gonna do, he wasn't doing nothing anyway. So, I mean, Rollins' man. crew really need a big man. They need Razor. I don't know why they – just because Akum is injured, uh, Razor had to be out too. I mean, hey. Because both of them need some wrestling experience, so he can I give Razor some wrestling experience. At this point, they're just trying to keep things even now. You know, because at this point, it's just Dominic and Ray only against, you know, Bronze and Murphy. So, I mean, that's that's all I can like put it. Well, that's true, too, now. That's all I can say now. at this point. But, 
Getting on topic from uh, Rob, back to NXT. Who talked about the main event? Nah, uh, in my opinion. I really think this it, it was good match, but it shouldn't have been the main event. I think they should have moved. I mean, I knew Swerve and all them down to the main event. Well, I mean, it's cruiserweight. What when, when have you ever seen a cruiserweight match being the main event or anything? I think wouldn't pack the main. Uh, I mean, eight, uh, Neville the main event one time for a show. To to a fall off. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I mean. When, when have you ever seen Neville on the when main event? When he on Raw, man, main event on Raw, man, one night. I, I could have sworn. Okay. Man. That was a main event statement, not a main event match. Okay, yeah. And, plus, with the, and uh, plus, that was because of Enzo Amore. Okay. So that wasn't Neville. That was Enzo Amore. Who ended up being on the main event, really? Yeah, he was on the main event segment with old idiot. Well, actually, Enzo was the one who put the main event on it. But, you know, look, either way, real Ripley. And the NXT Women's Champion Io Shirai taking on Dakota Kai and Team Big Kick. and Big Mommy Cool, and Big Mommy Cool, Raquel Gonzalez. Now I love the fact the way they ended it. You know, have Mercedes Martinez coming in for their revenge on Rhea Ripley, then have Big Mommy Cool get the win for the team. Cause yeah. now, oh um, man, did you uh, did you see that Cyclone Power Slam? Yes, I have. I like that. I like the fact they had Raquel Gonzalez get the win instead of Dakota Kai. Because at least they're for the do song. It could be something that could do something for Rocky and Gonzalez. You know, this could be so, This could mean something. I mean, a win means something. And a great touch at the end, cause like when Martinez pulled uh, Rhea Ripley down and made her bump her head when she got the tag to come back in, and then she came in, this still disoriented, and that's how it would be if somebody hit their head for real. So they made it realistic. No, she came in disoriented. The old girl booted her in the face and gave her that all uh, that cradle power ball she does because she, she picked him up in the unorthodox position. <laughs> you know, it's called the big punch slam. So I mean, so hey, now they gave know. her the one, two, three. That's all that matters. Nah, though, I like Raquel Gonzalez. I do, but I will say this about her: she does need a little work. She does need a little work, and that's what she had, and that's why she has the code of count on the side, right? So she she you need to really put her in many matches as possible. You know you have to put her in some squash matches so she can get used to being in the ring because she's kind of clumsy a little bit. Yeah. So um, NXT was really good overall, but however the Super Show, you know, you got the six man, you know, brawl street fight pretty much, and you got Tommaso Ciampa back. Then you got the other uh, three members of the matchup for the sixty man Iron Man match, man. you know. Uh, Gargano had his words. Bella had his words. He had Adam Cole had his words about the matchup too. I mean, this is gonna be a big deal, man. Man, that's an uh, Iron Man. I mean, there are, there are lots of things going for NXT. I mean, you see, you have four or well, three men. I uh, three men uh, uh, North American title picture right now. Bronson Reed, Timothy Thatcher. You know, also, there might be the next one, maybe. And you know what? On NXT. The championships on NST seem more impo- seem more important than the championships on the main roster. It does actually. outside the Intercontinental title. At least uh, AJ Styles doing something with the Intercontinental title. Defending on every actually a- uh, Apollo doing pretty good with the US title, but he keep wrestling the same folk. Yeah, that was messing him up. But everybody else don't seem that important. That's it's just that United States champion. They just have the same and same and same rivalries over and over and over again for the same title. Like. Seriously. I mean, they had Joe versus Ray for a long time. They did. Then you had Andrade versus Ray for the title so many times. Andrade then Humberto Cruz, bro. Then what, who was it? Uh, AJ Styles against who? For, uh, I don't know how many times. Uh, I, was it Ricochet? Was it on uh, Ricochet? Yeah. Bro, Kept he only, me in Ricochet. He only, he only wrestled Ricochet twice. Oh, you know what? Take it back. Three times. He wrestled a few times, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because the, yeah, the first time they went against each other, that's when he turned heel. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. However, man, NXT was a great show. I'm looking forward to the Super Show. Is there anything you want to say about the Super Show, though? Anything, uh, anything you're looking forward I to? I really, I'm, I want to check the uh, the internet and see who what's going to be the other matches. I'm sure yeah. they're going to have about at least two more matches. Yeah, because if it's not a three-hour show, it's probably going to be like one, two more matches. Because, you know, it's a two-hour show, so that one hour is going to be right, right in there. So. The only thing I'm going to hate about it is they're going to have to cut the commercial so many times. Yeah. In the middle of the match. That's gonna that's gonna uh so yeah. But 
now, now we're done with NXT. Man, let's, let's get into some a little bit of news, you know. Oh man. So before we can get to the bigger part, you know, I do want to say talk about the Usos. You know, obviously Jimmy Uso has been injured since the WrestleMania, but I just want to say that the Usos have made a statement on Twitter talking about all the WWE tag teams. You know, do do what they can because when the Usos come back, they're coming for the tag team goal. So whether it's you know Cesaro and Shinsuke, or whether it's the Street Profits, you know, most of they're gonna be on SmackDown. You know, they come for the tag team goal. So and I think the Usos right. I think the Usos can make the tag team division more better, man. If they just have better competition and better rivalry and actually do something with the tag division for one thing. Well, we gonna have to do cause I don't know if we can do that tonight, but we're gonna have to touch upon the state of the tag team division in WWE on both sides. Let alone we did talk about the state of the women's division and the tag division, but before, but we didn't we didn't we we need to get deeper into this tag yeah, team. Yeah, we didn't thing. get we didn't get deep into the tag division more than we did the women's division. So, cause it, it's it's really bad. Yeah, but now that we're done talking about the tag, yeah, cause tag division need a little bit more work. They need, they need to learn some lessons from NXT a little bit, you know. But let's go ahead and move on to the bigger story. Obviously, you know, Ross man now uh, been retapping from Retribution. Obviously, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, uh. uh Dark Order 2.0. You know, yeah, exactly. So <laughs> the biggest story about today, well, yesterday at least, was that uh, a fan had probably figured out who all the members were. You know, even someone had posted it on Instagram, which I came across actually, which I want to give credit to this guy or woman maybe, uh, Wrestling Manic 24. The fact that he believed that the members are Caden Carter. I mean, you can say something between these names, so. Um, no. Okay. Mia Yim. No. Well, I take that back. Caden Carter, yeah. Mia Yim? No. Nah, you feel strong about that. Okay. Shane Thorne. No. Not in this life. Dominic Dijakovic. Yes. Dio Madden. Yes. All right. Chelsea Green. Yes. Man, you feel, you feel so strong. I don't know, man. Chelsea Green carried a good bit. Now, in the place of one of the women, I'll put uh, now born kind of tall though. Yeah, because some people believe that it was. Uh, some people believe Vanessa Bond. Some people believe Andy Hartwell. Which, no, uh, Andy Hartwell too tall to be uh, one of the yeah, other exa- two. Ladies. Yeah, exactly. To be honest, I didn't know there was that's, three. But that shortest one, that shortest one is definitely. Uh, I didn't think. I didn't think it was like three women. I I, mean, I remember I made a joke about that like on the Monday Night Raw review. I didn't think it was three women for real. I thought it was like. Four men and like two women. You think it's one cruiserweight that looks like you know? Kind no, of I'm saying like I think like, one of the pictures at the end, the one at the end. Now you know the one at the very end is a woman, but the yeah. one next to it, see like they think me. See, no, I think the one by me and you know, like another guy, really. I think that's another guy, but he just small. I think him like might be like a a, a cruiserweight or a light heavyweight. They do like Drew, man, they do like Drake man or Leo Rush type small man, but uh, there's been a lot, but there's been but. It can't just be NXT superstar. You know, we've been up and down about right. that. Right. It got to be one main roster we, person. We've been, we have been truly up and down about whether it's a NXT superstars or main roster stars like that. It could be a combination. It could be someone who's coming back from wrestling, maybe. You know, lots of people have been talking about CM Punk and AJ Lee a lot. You know, uh, but one thing I do, but if it's main roster, uh, people have been talking about Roman Reigns. Now, you've been talking uh, about how, you've been talking about how Roman Reigns is not considered as a heel. You know, because, uh, like, his actions at some stuff is pretty much a basic thing he does. You know, just a Roman Reigns thing, you know? I don't know, man. I don't think it's a heel turn. It makes sense because why would you have a T-shirt that says wreck everyone and leave knowing that's what retribution does? I right. have to see it, man. I'm acting like a little child about Roman Reigns. I think it's going to break my heart for him to turn <laughs> But that's what everybody wanted to see all this long with him to do a heel turn. Not now. It's too late we now. We need hope now. Now when we didn't, when, when we didn't. The need hope, hope was the theme. The, look, the hope was the theme. When something. we didn't need hope in America, we 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 didn't mind having. Uh, oh, the only hope is the rock. Now. Well, I mean, it could. This could. Roman Reigns being. Oh. Here. Roman Reigns that could set up the reason why he be here. I forgot. Yeah. Uh, cause they talking about Roman Reigns and Rock at thirty seven. Finally, when it could happen at thirty six, but you know, hey. No, he had a heavy uh, movie schedule. Yeah, I know, man. The Rock, man, is a busy man, but 
you know, besides Roman Reigns, you know, uh, people been also talking about Kalisto. Now, Kalisto actually makes sense. Now that could be that small dude toward the end. It makes sense if, uh, obviously, if you're not following, uh, Kalisto has a falling out with uh, Lince Dorado and the Resolution House Party about the laws in the SmackDown Tag Team Title match. So that actually makes sense in a way. But I doubt that happens. So what I see happening, I'm gonna tell you what I see happening. Cesaro and um, Shinsuke beats up. Lucha Underground during the match, and Kalisto does something to cheat to help Lucha Underground win. Yeah. And Lince Dorado or uh, Grand Master Lee won't cheat. And he gets mad at them after they lose the match. He really gets mad and attacks one of them. Yeah. Because they didn't cheat like he wanted them to. Yeah, I, I see. But, uh, you know, another name that someone also, but this one for the women's this time. A lot of people have been given the name Mickey James on this one. Now, in a way, wow. this could make sense because the way that they've wow. been doing, Mickey James. Okay. So, so this, this is pretty smart, man. You know. Oh, wait a minute. I can tell you who it might be. Uh, I mean, it can't be no might be. You know, it's it's pretty much is might be. What about Nick Aldis? No, no. Think he's too loyal to the NWA? Yeah, he is. No. So I think like you're talking about somebody from like the actual company, man. No, but it would make sense, Nick Aldis. No, but it'd be even cooler, man. No. To be honest, you know, in my perfect, my honest opinion about retribution, what I about would way better. No. He's probably gonna stick with commentate. Now you're going all now you're going way too I'm far saying, beyond. He got he, you know. You're going way too far beyond this though. No. He okay. might not wrestle, but you Look, know. Look, he I would be the mouthpiece of the group. Look, I would rather, I would full on rather watch, like the five five five, like well before the five 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 house even like, start getting lamer. It didn't get bad. No. Yeah. yeah, I would rather watch the five 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 house like for the entire twenty nineteen, than watch like Reggie or better yet, I would rather watch more of the hacker type stuff, than seeing like Retribution doing acting like. 19 year old kid like wrecking their parents' right. house and stuff like that. Which one would you rather see? Rather sit down and watch. And you got to sit down and watch one. Would you rather sit down and watch Aces and Eights, Dark Order, or Retribution? Aces and Eight. I'm not even, I'm not even, I didn't even think about that. Like, I just heard Aces and Eight. Aces and Eight, man. Oh, man. Like, Dark Order, man. But then again, like I said, I didn't watch AEW like this. So I didn't watch Dark Horse like this. So, but if I were to watch them, man, I still thought it was kind of lame. So I want to go Ace and Zay, actually. They are lame. Retribution, man, they were acting like some dang 16 year old kids who were trying to wreck their parents' house because like they couldn't get what they want. And that's why they're getting retribution on them. So, do you think, uh, Kaylin Carter, all right, what about the next person next to him? Do you uh, think it might Casey be Kaylin Carter? Carter Zaro? I don't even think it is Kaylin Carter. I mean, like, is if they if it was Kaylin Carter, I think it would be a terrible idea because yeah, she's a pretty girl, too. See, this is what I'm talking about. See, either I'm way, Caden Carter and Casey Cantor is a good tag team. Could be the first. Oh, well, I'm not going to go too beyond that. But I would say it could be one of the first set of NEC women to win the tag team champions, maybe. I, I mean, think it, uh, no. if they have more work, if they have a lot more work, you know, maybe like yeah. years beyond that. But i tell you what. I, I would really push for uh, – Dakota Kai and uh, Big Mommy Cool to win the tag titles. Nah, but Dakota Kai just focused on that, that NEC Women's Champion. Yeah, I know she is right now. I'm focusing on that singles. But, hey, I can see in the future, though. First ever uh, women to win the tag team title for NXT. So, you know, I can see how that comes. But Retribution, man, this is a, this is really a huge deal now. Well, I definitely believe it's D.O. Madden since you had kind of – and I, I see it now. I believe it's D.O. Madden. Uh, I know Chelsea Green, D.O. Dio Madden, and uh, uh, J. Dodger COVID. Dodger COVID. Donald Dodger COVID. Man. Dodger. Shoot. Yeah, Donald Dodger. Dodger. Yeah, well, we're going back and forth. But either way, man, look. This is a little retribution is a big deal now. Because now that we know it's the final six, like this is the final retribution now, six members, this makes sense now. Instead of having like 10, 15, 20, like the NWO or like pretty much Asians Aid and Dark Order, like now it's the final six. So are they going to uh, show who they are on payback? I, or are they going to do it on Raw? Question is how they are going to reveal themselves. 
All at one time, like one at a time. Well, of course they're gonna beat somebody tail first. Ray Mysterio dominant so far. Nah, it gotta be some big. So they're gonna mess around in one of the matches. Um, triple threat match. You know something? It might be Roman Reigns because they might do something <laughs> triple threat you, match. I've been saying that. Yeah, yeah, you right, you right. Nah, yeah. Why would you come in with a t-shirt talking about wreck everyone? And leave? Okay, nah, I see. You know that's what Retribution been doing. Cause you know they're gonna save him for the main event. Yeah, uh, you right, you right. Uh, now that he, well, he definitely don't make. He don't have the character to do it. But I mean, a lot of people been thinking like Miz was part of it because you know this the. It's been two weeks now that every time Retribution came out, all of a sudden. He comes in real late, and people believe, like, Miz have a thing with it, maybe. You know, as far as the Miz go, I can't really see it because of his character. And I can't say he'd be, like, the mastermind behind it, maybe. Yeah, but he's not. But, like, being actually part of it, like, the guys who've been, like, attacking didn't know, obviously. Like, he might be the mastermind who thought about it, but. Anything else, not really. So it doesn't match him as a character. Exactly, which is why I think like some of the girls like Chelsea Green, over and like it just it just can't fit because like it's like one of like pretty girl type wrestlers, you know. That's like pretty much having Lee a part part of the group too. You know, I don't mean the inner rubber come over something that don't make sense, but I was sitting here, whatever happened to, him? and I know it's off the kilter. What in the devil ever happened to Carmella? I thought her and Dana Brooks would have been a tag team or something. Man, there's some uh, situation back in, you know, June and July, man. Uh, uh, whatever. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey. WWE booking, what can you say? But, man, uh, someone even, uh, there was one point someone even said, I think, or well, not someone even, like, uh, I remember reading a source. I forget which source it was, but I think it was Ringside News. Said that one of the members was supposed to be Ember Moon. Wow. No, nah, but she's but still injury, injured. Is. But injury, but injury, injury still going on. So she been injured for like good five years. Dang. It's been like a whole year since she been injured now. That's crazy. It's a little over a year now, isn't it? I mean, she's been injured ever since the start. Well, ever since like after SummerSlam. I mean, yeah, after SummerSlam. So. Like she was like she was hurt before he Bailey even turned heel, so that's like a really long time now. Man, but imagine like man, now that's understandable. Seeing Ember Moon being one of the members, now that's understandable. But as far as Ember Moon goes, man, I I wish her I wish her for the future for her. Uh, uh I wish her for the future for one thing. So man, bro. All I, right, Dan. Just imagine that all the people, man, we can talk about like we can be talking about people who's not even wrestling right now. We're gonna talk about people all night. We don't go <laughs> Yeah. Stay the taxing division, man. Yeah. Stay with the women. Actually, we're not gonna talk about the women's division. Women's division doing pretty good this time. Hey, and you know what you need to do? Um, I had a question to my son and he don't wanna answer. I thought he was gonna hit that. I thought he was gonna say hit those lights. But hey, under the comment section. Y'all, please put down, who do you think the greatest wrestler who comes from parts unknown? That's stupid, because there's, like, literally <laughs> no one from parts Like, you can look up WWE wrestlers from parts unknown. Most likely, they're going to only just say, like, at least three people. There's a lot of wrestlers back in the day used to be from parts unknown. From WWE. WWE, NWA. WWE only. Yeah. WWE only. Yes. I said only WWE. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying no, only WWE, not no... Anybody else? No, it can be anywhere. It's not anywhere. It's gonna be only WWE because I want to know anybody from WWE. Okay. We we, we want to know how many people come from like parts unknown. That's how. That's look right. look. Either way, look like you know share subscribe and also comment. You know, uh, for me at least comment like what do you think about the state of the tag team division? And, you know, also comment like who do you think the retribution members are? You know, do you agree with other? Do you agree with the other people who uh, made their claim? You know, well you know what do you want them to comment on about. Uh, well, and also comment on this parts unknown thing because I'm oh curious my, this about man. this. But you can't just look this up on your own. No, nah, I just want folks to give their opinion. Of course you will. You know, hey. <laughs> but just like my uh host said, hey, subscribe, hit the alert bell, give us some likes, and please comment or ask questions on the email so we can present them online. Oh yeah, but I said, oh my bad. One more comment. Hey, also comment who you think gonna be walking as NEC champion. Next week on the Super Show, man. Yes, please hey, do. I didn't say my prediction earlier, but like I'm saying, I'm going for all in. I'm going all in on Johnny Gargano this time. 
You know, no beds, no backouts, man. All right, my first choice also is Johnny Gargano. I ain't going for no second pick. And a second pick. I always do a second pick in yeah, man matches. My second pick would be Tommaso Champ. Nah, man, that dude can't. He's just not coming in. I was like getting a North American title, really. Shit, that dude don't want that little time. That's a little time. It's a little bigger than North. It is. It's bigger than that XC title <laughs> while I'm talking. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Let's go ahead. And this All right. Hey. hey, man, it's, it's been a blessing to speak to y'all this evening. Like I said, uh, subscribe. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Alerts. Yep. Likes. Yep. Comment. Yep. In order to put yourself in the drawing yep. for the next uh, Funko Pop. Pop. Yep. Much love. Mm-hmm. Peace to everybody. Yep. Good night. Yep.